All right, folks, I got one here. I'm going to do this video a little differently than I normally do. This is a 2002 Chrysler Sebring convertible. Okay. Now, this is going to be, actually, I think this is a limited. Let me look and see on the back here. Nope, it's an LXI. One of the ones I have is a limited. I know that. Somehow, I don't know why, come wintertime, I have three convertibles right now, but that's just the way it goes. And I just wanted to show you with the top down first, and then when we go for the test drive, I'll put the top up and you can see what kind of shape that's in. Okay, now, first thing I want to do is I'm going to start it up, and I'm going to show you this. Oh, where are the keys? If I can find the keys. Hope I didn't lose them. That sounds like me. All right, first things first is... All right, there we go. Now, let me see if I can show you the mice. There it is. It's only got, for, you know, 12-year-old car, 13-year-old car, it's got 138,228 miles. So that's not that bad. You'll notice there are no check engine or warning lights on, but, and there's always a but, I got to let you guys know something. There's two things I know that are wrong with this car. And I'm going to let you know what they are. The first one is that it's got a leaky valve cover gasket, which means you can see how I left it like this. I go clean it up, but I wanted to show you that there is some oil that leaks out of there. Hence, it gets on the engine and obviously uh, smokes a bit. And the other thing is this vehicle will require a water pump. Okay, I only know that because my mechanic told me so. Uh, the car can be driven, but I do not recommend it for too long of a period of time. Uh, I think because it may overheat if you do. I've never overheated the car, but I just wanted you to know that so, you know, you can take the appropriate caution. It's a beautiful car, runs and drives great. It just is going to need a little bit of work. Hence, I'm going to call this a mechanic special. Let me rev it up for you so you can hear how the engine sounds. And obviously, as you can hear, it sounds really good. Uh, there's no knocks, you know, it's no high rev um, noises other than, you know, what you just heard. All right, but I'm going to turn this baby off for you right now because I don't want to overheat it. That's all. Very simple. I want to leave it nice and cold so, or cool so we can take it for a test drive and you'll get to see how it runs and shifts then. All right, let's check out the rest of the outside of the car. Now, it's got these nice Chrysler wheels, left front tire, feels like it has tons of tread in it. Geez, I'm gonna guess, wow, I mean, I can feel the wear bars and they're way down there. That's probably two thirds to three quarters of the tread left, maybe even more. All right, left rear tire feels the same way, probably three quarters or more of the tread left. Come around to this side. Yep, this one feels the same. Wow, it's got really good tires on those three wheels. And the right front tire feels exactly the same. So there you have it. You've got four really, really nice tires. And of course, you know, right front fender looks nice and clean. Right front door, no nicks, no dings, no rust. Right rear quarter panel, same thing. No nicks, no dings, no rust. Very nice. Good thing it's a convertible. I can pop in there and grab the uh, door lock. And you can see the interior appears to be in very nice condition. The seat has a little bit of stress wear on it. The driver's seat, of course. Not bad. You know, but the rest of it's not broken up, busted up at all. This would be a really great Christmas present for somebody. If you, uh, and you can see there's a little bit of wear and tear on the passenger seat. The carpet looks nice and clean. But if you know how to work on cars and you can do the work on this, yeah, this would be a really nice car. Bring it down. You can see down the bottom there, it doesn't look like there's any corrosion underneath this car at all. It really looks to be in great shape. All right, here's your rear seat. And you can see that looks to be in pretty darn nice condition as well. I already showed you the quarter panel. Oh, looks like we got a little crack in the tail light lens here. No big deal. And the rear bumper's a little scuffed up. Not bad. Let's take a look to see underneath. Here's your trunk. 
Which I, one thing I like about these Chrysler convertibles, even though it's got the convertible very often in a um, the convertible top very often in a convertible car, will take up a significant portion of the trunk. You can see in this one that it actually is in you know well not actually it is in very you know good sized trunk. Here's your deck lid. Oh, one thing speaking of the top I want to tell you about is the top is a little on the weak side, so you do have to give it a little bit of manual assist. But other than that, it's not that bad. There's your deck lid coming around the left side of the car. Left rear quarter panel looks pretty good. No nicks, no dings, no scratches. Same with the door. All the way on down to the front bumper looks pretty, or bumper of fender, yeah, left front fender, sorry. There we go. Oh, I'll show you um, once I get the top up. You know, obviously the uh, windows all work because they go down automatically when you go to lower the vehicle. It does have a power seat that forwards and backs. You can see that works nicely. Let me move this piece of paper out of the way. You can see the carpeting there. That's nice. Here's your door jam. And here, of course, is your driver's door. I'll do that down to here. And there you have it. And of course, we'll come around to the front. And it looks like the headlights are in pretty decent shape. They look pretty clean, pretty nice. The front of the car, not all beat up. It's actually just a really nice looking car. Take a look underneath. And of course, we'll look under the hood. There you go. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put the top up so we can take it for a ride. And you can see, I'll, you know, I'll walk around the car again and show you the condition of the top. Uh, these actually, these convertibles, these Chrysler convertibles in particular have a nice insulated top. So it's actually a pretty comfy car to drive even in the winter time. But anyway, let me, I want to show you how the trans shifts and how it actually goes down the road. So give me a minute, let me put the top up and we'll go for a ride. All right, folks, top's up. We're going to take it for a spin. But before I do that, I want to start her up for you. Go through the power windows and other options that this baby has. And there's your right rear window down. Up, as you can see, right front down and up. Swing on around here, just your left rear window down and up. There's little quarter windows it's got. And of course, the all-important auto down driver and back up. Uh, horn. Works. Let's see, wipers. Yeah, they work too. Radio. And let's go to FM. What's your name? As you can see, the radio works just fine. Climate control works. Uh, obviously, a little too cold out for me to check the air conditioner for you, but let's take her for a spin. As you can see, still no check engine lights on. This is a 2.7 liter V6. It's front wheel drive. has a four-speed automatic transmission. So it's going to get decent gas mileage. Not great. Not like a little four-cylinder puddle jumper, but you're not going to get decent power out of it either. I mean, this thing gets up and moves. I'm over 50 already. So yeah, this is a pretty decent running car, actually. Plenty of power and whatnot. I'll tell you, for a convertible, the wind noise isn't bad at all in this. Cruise down the road, hands off the wheels, you can see. And we're going nice and straight. Still haven't touched the wheel, still haven't touched the wheel. So yeah, no problems in the front end on this baby. This is actually just a good looking, good running car that needs a little bit of work, as I explained to you. Brakes feel pretty good. And we're gonna turn around here and head back. And not the best turning radius in the world, apparently. Here, that I just did a really lousy job of turning. All right, let's head on back.
transmission seems to shift nice and smooth through all the gears. Very nice. It's got your little compass and temperature gauge there. It sure feels colder than 50 degrees out, but whatever. We're supposed to get a foot of snow tomorrow, so that's I'm trying to get this done. All right, I'm going to do a brake test for you guys, which very simply is just going to consist of me pulling into the vacant lot across the street from my place, let go of the steering wheel, slam on the brakes, and we'll see what happens. You can't really tell much on the video. Um, so I will do my best to describe to you how they feel. One thing you can do is keep your eyes on the steering wheel, though, and just see if it, like, swings really wildly to the right or to the left. That might tell you it's got a brake balance problem. But I'll pull the camera back. Hope you can see. Find my little spot here, and... Nice. Okay, so the brakes feel very good. The steering wheel didn't budge a bit. Um, it stopped straight, stopped nice, even on gravel. So nothing wrong with the brakes here. And here we go. Now, what I'm going to do now is take one more walk around the outside of the car so you guys can check out the top. Now that I have the top back up for you. All right, we'll park this baby right here. And we'll take a walk around, okay? There we go. Turn the car off. Don't want to let it run too long. I mean, honestly, I don't know how long you can drive this car for or if it will even overheat. I just get really paranoid when I know something like this and I don't want to hurt anything. So again, I'll let your conscience be your guide as to whether, uh, you, you know, what you want to do with this car as far as if you want to tow it or if you want to uh, drive it. That'll be up to you. Uh, I make no warranties or guarantees that how far it's going to go, though. That's all I'm telling you. You can see it's still a great looking car, even with the top up, a nice black top, which, you know, I actually prefer over a tan top that would match the interior. And the main reason why is tan tops just tend to get very dirty and stained. And then the, over the long haul, they just don't look that good. I mean, I have one right now with a tan top and the tan top looks terrible. There you go. You can see that puppy. Now I'll come a little, show you a couple minor little things on the top. I mean, along the edges, it's you know, a little frayed from having been down. Looks like it's got one little tear right there. A little piece of good cloth tape would take care of that until you got around it, if you wanted to, replacing it. One thing I also like about the Chryslers, too, is they have um, a real glass rear window and a rear window defogger. All right, folks, so there you have it. This is a mechanic special with decent mileage. It's going to be very inexpensive. And if you have a little bit of mechanical ability and can fix a couple minor issues with it, then this could be a very nice car for you or someone you love. Anyway, that's it. Thank you.